In this video, uh, we are going to go over one of the new features that Bridges has rolled out with their th free math apps. Uh, and that is the ability to share work with others. Um, this can be done from the teacher end of things and it can be done from the student end of things. In this video, we are going to focus on it from the teacher end of things. Um, so the sharing is supported in many, but not all of the apps. I do know they are working on making this available for all of the apps. So you can see which ones it is available on right above the name. It will say in orange support sharing. So you can see that sharing is supported with the geo board, the math clock, the number frames, the number line, the number pieces, the number rack and the whiteboard app. Um, and then the rest you can see here, fractions, sharing is not quite supported yet. So we are going to do a sample assignment from a teacher, uh, from the teacher end of things. And so I'm gonna open this app. I'm just gonna open it, open it right in my Chrome browser. And it gives me a blank workspace. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a problem that I would share out with my students. Uh, my students will have some nice workspace that they can then use to solve the problem and share it back with me. So I'm gonna come down here to the text tool and I'm just gonna start with a text box and I'm going to type in um, the problem. I'm gonna do a word problem here. Um, All right, so I just have a word problem here. You can see that my text right now is blue. I can change my text color um, to whatever I'd like it to be. And when I'm done, I can just click done. Now this problem for me is kind of in the middle of the page. So I'm just gonna click it and drag it to where I want it to be. And then I can click the um, gray squares in the corners to change the size. So I'm gonna drag this, it's not taking up quite as much space. And then you can also change the size of your font here. So I can make it larger, I can make it smaller. So this is the problem that I wanna share out with my students. And um, the way that I'm going to do that is down here in the menu, I have the share button. So if I click that, you will see all of the ways that I can share this work with someone else. I can save it as an image and share that image out. Um, I can also just copy the image. Now. The downfall to doing this as a teacher is that students will not be able to do the work. It will just be an image. So the sharing as an image is um, most likely gonna be a feature that your students would use, not you as the teacher. You have the ability to share it as a link. And um, all I'm gonna do to do that is I'm just gonna click copy link. It says copied and I'm gonna come over to my Google Classroom and I am going to put it in a test class that I have. Let's create um, some classwork. Let's create an assignment. Um, we would title it just like we would with a normal assignment. You might give them instructions. Um, oops. And then here, I'm just gonna click add and I'm going to add a link. And we are just going to paste it. I click add and now you will see, and you can see a tiny picture and you can see my words right there, that here is the link that's being shared with my students. And then all I would have to do is click assign. And now when my students go to click that, they would each get their own copy of that. Um, the other way that you can share this is there is a share code down here. So I can copy this share code. So I'm just gonna highlight it and control C it. And I'm going to go back in and I can create an assignment using this code. Um, and I'm just gonna differentiate between here. So you might, um,
give them some directions. And then I'm going to paste the code and then we can click assign. So you're going to notice that that one doesn't show up a link. This is just going to give them directions with the code. And down here, it's actually going to um, bring them right to the, uh, the web page. So when you are doing the sharing the code, uh, you would need to make sure that students know where they are going to. Many of these apps um, can be downloaded so that they are apps right on the student Chromebook. So you can see here Chrome Store, I can go into there and it will give me the option of um, adding this to my Chrome right here. See, it says add to Chrome. So my students could do that. So if students have this added to Chrome, then the code um, would be really easy. Otherwise, I would stick to sharing a link. If you are wondering what this looks like now from the student's end of things, what students might do with this and then how they would share it back with you as the teacher, make sure to check out our video of uh, sharing work from the student's point of view.